And joining us now is Guy Itzhaki, whose niece, Eden, is being held hostage by Hamas. Guy, thank you so much for being here. Your niece, uh, Eden, was at that Nova Music Festival. I know she was on the phone with her sister for four hours as she was trying to hide from Hamas terrorists. Uh, just first off, uh, b b before anything, our condolences to what your family is going through right now. I would l like to get your reaction to more, two more hostages being released today. Yes, yeah, so we are really happy about that. This is uh, one more step towards uh, getting Eden back home. And we are happy on everyone that will be released uh, from the Hamas. Did the Israeli government give you any information about any plans to try to rescue her? Sadly, no. Uh, we didn't get that. Uh, but we trust the government that they know that they cannot neglect, right, uh, more than 200 civilians and soldiers that uh, are uh, held by Hamas, and they will probably do or will do everything they can to release them uh, back home. We do know that Israel is reportedly preparing this multilateral operation that is targeting the Gaza Strip where Eden is. is. Uh, do you want them to hold off on that until they make more efforts to try to rescue her and the other hostages? So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know there is a conflict, you know. On one hand, the government would like to bring everyone back home safe soon. And on the, and on the other hand, they would like to invade uh, Gaza in order to fight the Hamas. And these are two contradicting, might look contradicting, uh, uh, I would say, approaches. And um, I think... First, the first priority should be releasing the hostages. And I can share that yesterday we met with the president. We were, uh, my sister and myself, and few more families. And the president said that this is the first priority, to release the, all, uh, everyone that uh, uh, currently in Gaza. So I hope, you know, there is a balance, and I hope the government and the army knows what they are doing. You talked about this a little bit in that you said that you know Eden was unharmed when she was taken. We've heard that she was on the phone for several hours with her sister. What else can you tell us about the conversation that they had over the course of those hours? Yeah, so when uh, everything started, it was uh, Saturday, early morning. Eden called her mother, crying, told her that uh, terrorists were attacking them. Uh, she was on the phone with her mother and sisters for hours, and during that time, um, they hear they hear sh uh, shotguns, uh, people crying and dying. So Eden uh, ran, uh, ran, and uh, she took cover uh, in a car with two dead bodies. Uh, at some point, her phone battery died, so she took another phone and continued the call with her mother from that uh, phone. Um, suddenly, the, after an hour and a half, uh, someone opened the door of the car. She thought this is someone who came to rescue her, but it was another guy from the party running for his life. She thought this is a great opportunity uh, to escape. She joined him, but... Uh, uh, shortly after, they split apart, and she hid uh, under a bush uh, for a few more hours. And um, then she whispered, they are taking me. We heard some voices in Arabic, something like Ta'al Hun, which means uh, basically get up or something like that. And uh, the call was disconnected. Guy, if you could speak directly to where she was being held, what would you tell your niece and what would you tell her captors? Yes, yeah, so to, to Eden, I would like to tell, be strong. We are strong. We are here for you. All your friends are here. They think about you 24-7. We love you very much. And you will come back home soon. Well, Guy, we certainly appreciate you time, your time. We're wishing Eden the best and the best to your family as well. Thanks so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.